Hello guys. In this video, we'll talk about or we'll write a code to find a Fibonacci series. So we'll print this series here. Now, what is Fibonacci? It's we have to let, let's start with one. So and then one. So basically, we have before one will be having a zero. So zero plus one is one. Then this one plus one is two. Then one plus two is three. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight. And five plus eight is thirteen, and so so on. So we need to print this uh, series till a number n. Okay. So n n may be any value, but let's say fifty or seventy or two hundred. So maybe it, it it may be any number. So in order to implement Fibonacci series, what we'll do is we'll use a main function here. So we'll just copy the void main. Now, so for this we need some variables. So first we'll say a variable is k. Then a variable a and b, just to make it simple. So we have these three variables. By default, the value of k will be zero. Okay. So we'll run a while loop. Now, till what point I want to go with the series? So we'll say till the point, let's say fifty. So maximum value I want is fifty. Okay, or equal to fifty. So I don't know if fifty uh, lies between this series, but let's say if this value is is less than is equal to fifty, then we have to print. Now what we need to do is we'll we'll say the initial value for this uh, this a is one, and b is also one, okay, and let's print the value of a and b. So how to print the value of a and b? We'll say s out, and we'll print without giving us a new line. We'll print the value one and one because this is what we want, right? One one, and then I will find k. So k is equal to a plus b. Now, when you say a plus b, so a value is one and b value is one, which simply means this is one and one. The k value will be two, and now let's print that two. So how to print two? We'll say let's print the value of k with a space. Okay. Now, if you print this, in fact, I put space here also. Now, if you run this, it will print one, one, and the next k value, which is k. Simple. Now, next in the next iteration, what I need to do is I will just change the value of a as one, and and uh, the b as two. So what I mean by that is I can simply say a equal to b. So the value of a becomes b. So we have to shift those parameters, and the value of b will be k. Okay. And now if you shift this, it will print the whole series. So yeah, that's it. We, we are just printing the values and then. Uh, We are saying uh, we are printing the values, right? So if I run this now, so you can that this is your Fibonacci series. So it is one, one, and all these values. Okay. So since we are checking, we are checking first and then adding the value. So that's why it is printing in this way. Okay. So it is going beyond uh, 50. So you can also do here. Let's say if you you can check with if condition and we can you can print it. But that's the way we do it, right? So yeah, so this is how we have to print. We can also take this input, which is value of fifty from user. So we can use a scanner class here to take the input. So in that scenario, we have to use a scanner class. We'll say scanner is equal to new scanner. Okay, and in this we have to mention from where I'll be getting the input. So which is system input device. Uh, let's import the package. So in that means you can just simply type Control Shift I, which will import the package, and then. We can simply take we we'll take a variable which is n equal to sc dot next int, which is here, okay, and then we'll we'll ask user to enter value. So we'll say enter any number. Now instead of writing fifty here, we can type n. Okay, and if I save and if I run this, so it's waiting for a number. I will say twenty two. So that's the answer. So it's just go beyond thirty or twenty-two, right? So you can also change it. So what you can do is you can simply say before printing, if a uh, k is less than equal to n, we'll say break. But we have multiple ways to solve this. So this is one of the way to solve that problem. So if I say twenty-two now, it will uh -oh, just made a mistake. It should be greater. Yeah. So if I run this, and if I say twenty-two now. So it will print all the values till twenty-one. Okay, if I give a different value, so let's say if I give 
1000, you know, big number, 10,000. So it will print all the Fibonacci series number here. That's the uh, last number. Because if you add this number and this, it will go beyond 10,000. Clear? So this is how you have to find the Fibonacci series. Clear? So thanks for watching this video and do subscribe for the further videos.